everybody, Sibling Power here, and today I am back with some more epic modded survival. And one of my plants must have died in between uh, the episodes because I just had to replant it. Uh, okay, so um, I did a little bit of uh, off screen work. I am um, like in between the times. Uh, I dug further down, I got to bedrock, and I put a waypoint down at the bedrock uh, so that we could easily get down to diamond mining level. And I, uh, if you remember, I marked that ravine, and I got rid of my uh, latest death mark, because when I died in the ravine, um, and I have set, and I've, like, okay, I have it set, I've expanded upon the garden, I've placed down potatoes, cucumbers, carrots, and bell peppers, um, so now our garden is expanded. Um, we're gonna be needing food soon, and that is something, uh, we're gonna, of course, need. Uh, and I was thinking, this episode, we need to go and try to fix our thing. Oh, and I also, I also added this. It's called the bin. Uh, it's from the, uh, Mr. Crayfish's Furniture mod, and it pretty much, you just put stuff you don't want in there, and you empty it, and the stuff vanishes. So, yeah, I also did a little bit of work. So, this stuff in here, I made a juicer. Um, okay, that pretty much sums up everything I have done uh, last episode in 1 minute and 30 seconds. Nice. Um, okay. So, this episode, as said, we want to fix our snow golem dilemma. I've uh, had plenty of time to grow some pumpkins. Um, and so, we're going to do that. I also mined a bit, have some gold and lapis now. Um, and I did make this stuff, and I want to make one more door, because I want to door, I want to put a door where the mine entrance is. So, we're going to go up to the mine entrance, and we're going to put the door there. Um, and yeah, so let's go over to the mine, and we're going to put a door here. There is a sheep on top of the mine, got it. Um, so we're going to put a door there, another pumpkin's growing, nice. Um, and, yeah, so now we've got to find a spot where the snow golem's actually going to produce snow, because for some odd reason, they don't want to produce snow on there, over there, anyway. So, maybe if we go and do it over here near the roof forest, because I know these are considered colder than plains, so maybe there'll be less of a chance of it glitching. Um, and we're going to want to build him inside of a fenced-in area, so I should really go and get my fences. Uh, let's go grab my fences. Um, do, 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 do. And also, I do not need this anymore, so I'll probably be dismantling this um, at some point during the episode. But first, I want to get my supplies, and I'm going to see where I can build my hut. So let's take some wood, take some fences, and then we can go and build the hut. I uh, eat some steak, and actually, we didn't finish eating the steak. Um, okay, so perfect. Um, anyway, let's get down to the business. Um, I need to make sure there's an area that he's actually going to produce now. So, let's see. I think it might be distance from the house. I don't know if waypoints affect, um, snow golems and their snow creation. Um, I, they shouldn't. Oh, he's producing snow here. Good. Fence him in, quick. Okay. So this is a spot he's producing snow. That we need that. Now we're gonna build a little hut that he can live inside of. Um, let's just go ahead and cut some planks out. Um, okay. So we need to make sure he lives in the corner of the hut. So yeah, he's now in the corner of the hut. And the reason we are putting a hut around him rather than, say, um, something else, is because these guys, some for some reason, love to get themselves shot um, by skeletons. And so we need to make sure that the skeletons are not going to shoot him in the face. And we put him in a hut to do that. So let's just go ahead. Uh, oh boy. Freaking wood not going where I want it to be. Um, let's go ahead and close this off. 
Um, now we're going to do a bit of digging. We're going to leave the... Uh, what, am I, what did I want to say? Um, we're going to put a chest down over here. And now we're going to want to put in a roof. This is going to be a low-hanging roof, but um, should be nice and effective for the purposes that we need it to be. Uh, we're going to put a torch there and there and there. Yeah, and we can't put one over there because his head is in the way. Um, so, yes, now our snow golem's little hut is finished. And we now can go to sleep because it's getting late. But... First, I'm going to demonstrate what this hut is going to be used for. If we cut this... Hmm. Okay. Um. I guess we should name the snow golem, shouldn't we? Um. This is what the snow golem does. Okay, back to what I was trying to do. I'm trying to demonstrate what he does. And he is essentially an endless snowball machine. As you can see, he just broke my shovel because of... It's just like, he gives tons of snowballs, essentially. So, that is what we need him to do. Um, can I break these down into snowballs? No, I'll just have to dig those. But, uh, we're going to get back into my house now because it's nighttime. And actually, I want to do one thing. And I know this is... Okay. Um, I know this is um, pretty... Uh, good thing and we are gonna do this um, and now I need to make sure I have the ingredients for it um, I need to make sure I have what I need and I do not I need um, you know I should just tell you guys what I need what I need is I want to make the fam guide and the fam guide is for the familiars mod and for that, I will need a bone, a spider eye, a rotten flesh, gunpowder, and a book. Um, I can get the book from the village. There were uh, bookshelves I can break to get the book. Um, rotten flesh I can get from this zombie right now. I have the gunpowder. Now I need a bone and a spider eye. Um, these things shouldn't be too difficult to get. It is nighttime. And... I see creeper and a skeleton over there. I'd much prefer just two skeletons. Um, okay, there's the bone. Um, I die. Okay. Um, now we just need the spider eye. Uh, unfortunately, that's probably going to be the harder drop to get. Let's go and kill this creeper. I think I see a spider up there by the snow golem shack. That's good. That's really good. I don't want to fight that Enderman if with only one piece of armor on. Is there a spider up here? No, that was just a black sheep. Oh, I need a spider. Where is a spider? Where do spiders like to spawn? Uh, I don't think they nest. Oh, there, there's one on top of my house. Get down from there. Dude, get down. Okay. We're gonna kill him, drop a spider eye. Yeah, I dropped a spider eye. Okay, so now I have all the materials for the fam guy. Oh, almost. Um, we're going to teleport into my house now and get to sleep. Oh, there's a. I know there's an Enderman outside. Uh, we might need to stay awake the entire night. Oh, shoot. How is a villager zombie even exist in this world? I have the, oh, you're a, you're gonna be a pain in the neck, aren't you? Aren't you, Enderman? I, I, I'm afraid to look directly at him. He'll be very angry. Um, you know what? I, I think we could probably take him. Die! Ah, don't teleport. Okay, teleport. Oh, God, that zombie. Oh, boy. Get, don't do that. That zombie has an iron sword. That's so, it's cheating. Ooh, an ender pearl. Um, that zombie was cheating. Zombies can't use weapons. In what myth do zombies have weapons? None. Uh, okay, so hopefully we can kill this last zombie and get inside because my health bar is very low. Uh, I really hope sleeping... I uh, oh, no, I don't hope, but I really wish sleeping in beds would heal you. Probably should. It makes sense. Um, 
Okay. So, yes, we are going to go ahead and steal a book from the village. Oh, did I say steal? Oh. Uh, we're going to go and get some books from the village. And the zombies are dying from the village guards. Um, well, at least we know in this mod the villagers don't just all run away and die. Uh, they're actually useful beings. Um, let's go ahead and find a village library. I know there were a few in here. Uh, this is not the library. Here's a library. Okay. So is this the librarian dude that doesn't like me? Yeah, that is. Uh, we're going to break your bookshelf. We're going to steal your books. Very sorry. I don't like you anyway. So, um, let's go ahead and craft ourselves the fam guide. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and hit the question on the fam guide and just go ahead and place things in order. Let's go ahead and place each thing as it should be. And now just for the run and flash. And yes, now I have the fam guide. And now I can begin using the familiars. Um, and in case you guys don't know what familiars are, I don't know why you wouldn't know. Um, but because it's a pretty popular mod. But of course... There are some people who do not know these things. And I will be nice and I will tell you. The familiars are uh, essentially summonable minions which will fly around your head and be all good to you and give you uh, special abilities. And since we have the um, the guy, we can go ahead and store this bow. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I have a, I have a um, guest next to me. And... Um, yeah, she's watching the mod showcase, and she, apparently, uh, she she's typing a message on her phone and showing it to me, and she wants me to name the snow the golem Larry. I really hope that's not a reference to another YouTuber. I don't copy people. Okay, she wants me to name it Larry. Okay, so I guess that's gonna be our um, snow golem's name, Larry. Okay, fine. We're gonna call the snow golem Larry. Uh, um. Let's go ahead and break the snow. Apparently Larry is now my best friend. Oh, uh, because we need these snowballs back. Um, and we're going to go up and put a little waypoint by Larry's hut. Um, and we're going to go Larry's... Um, hut. It's not really a house. It's just a hut. Um, okay, so that's Larry's hut. And because this is where all the snowballs are going to be stored. Um, and yes. So now we can begin summoning fams. And the fams work like this. You have to download, uh, packs because the fam guide alone doesn't come with anything. So I've downloaded a bunch of packs aside from, so when I, so though I didn't say what packs I downloaded in my, uh, mods list, um, the, they are on the mod forums page for the familiars mod, all the available packs. And now, specifically, there are two that I want right away. I believe Navi, how much does Navi cost? Seven. I want Navi right away, and I want Rana right away. Rana also costs seven. Okay, so that's 14 experience levels. And I now have two uh, familiars, which I think are both really good. Rana, I don't know. I, I'm sorry, I'm not too big into retro games, and I know she's from something, but I don't know what. Um, okay, but what she does is she floats around your head, and now you can see I can jump very high into the air and not take any fall damage ever like I can fall any distance and not take fall damage with her so she is very helpful for traversing terrain and um, the other one that I unlocked um, Navi uh, she is going to be a little annoying in this series she's probably gonna bug everyone I think I, she is from the Legend of Zelda but still what she does is, whenever I get close to diamonds or emeralds, she will begin making noise. And she's probably going to annoy everyone, but you know. Uh, it's worth it for diamonds and emeralds. Um, so yeah, she's. So we're going to keep Rana on for now because she en enables me to jump a lot. And I'm going to work on uh, getting experience levels to unlock some more. 
Um, but right now we're going to go on a little bit of a quest, I'd say, because we need to find some food. Um, and, <coughs> sorry if I'm a little stuff right now, but uh, we're going to need to find a bit of food while I still have these steaks. We need to find more steaks. And luckily there were a lot of cows like in these woods. So a lot of packs of cows anyway. So we can go and find a bunch of cows. There are berry gardens here, but I think I have pretty much every berry in the mud. I don't have grapes. I don't know what plant grapes come from. I don't know which gardens you find grapes. Do you know which gardens you find grapes in? You ever found grapes? Okay, she doesn't know where grapes are either. Um, I'll, tr I'll try breaking ber berry gardens and seeing if I can find grapes. Because these are not grapes. These are blackberries. Are they in berry gardens? Seriously. Seriously, why are grapes so difficult to find? They would probably be... Are there vine gardens? That would make sense. They are grapes. Um, no, those are Azure's. Um, okay, sorry, I'm having a bit of a conversation with the person next to me. Um, I don't think they can hear you. Anyway, I don't know. Say hello very loudly. Hello. Okay, I'm pretty sure they heard that. Anyway, um, we're going to go, and that is the tallest birch tree I have ever seen. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, find where these uh, cows are. Ooh, there's a cow. There's a few cows here. Okay, that's good. Um, go ahead and kill these cows, get a bit more steak. Uh, I'm a hunter. I hunt my prey. Ooh, another question. Uh, have you ever seen a vine garden before? Huh? I've seen ground gardens. Yeah. Not a lot. I've seen a few. Okay. Yeah. You know, okay. We're not having this conversation much more. Um. Okay. Because I want to talk to my viewers more. Okay. So, while I'm talking to the people who can't actually talk back, because this is a recorded video. But um, these are these are leafy gardens. Pretty sure mushrooms are not found in leafy gardens. Um, let's go ahead and ooh, there's another village here. Um, I think this is a village we stumbled across one time, but then decided uh, to run away from. And yeah, so I could mark a waypoint here. I'm not going to though. Let's go ahead and break this salt, because actually we don't need much more salt. Hello, Mac. Yes, his name is Mac. Um, interesting name, Mac. That's like that sounds like the ultra manly name. Um, sorry if I'm being a little quiet right now. I am just exploring the hillside. Exploring the massive hillside and what? It's a red mushroom. Uh the majestic red mushroom. Just say oh no, there's more. Not so magical anymore. Um Would a ground garden be in the roofed forest? Maybe. Oh, what are these? <gasps> peppercorns. Okay. Uh I do want peppercorns. And bananas. What the hell? What, Rana, did you just hit me? Maybe this rose bush. Okay, so I'm going to break this peppercorn. It's going to take a long time because it's immature. Um, but I will get a peppercorn from this. And I'm going to also try to get some of uh, these jungle saplings. Because these peppercorns can be used to make black pepper. And I'm also going to do the same to these bananas. Um, because, you know, pepper. I need some pepper, I got a banana, and now I need to break the leaves. Hopefully get some saplings. There's jungle saplings. There's one jungle sapling. Oh, there's another. Okay, so I now can make 
saplings for the peppercorns and the banana. So now I'm going to have uh, more saplings growing around my house. And that, that will be good. That will be a good thing. And of course more cows. Mm. That, that's another good thing. I'm just going to go ahead and kill these cows. And what are these? Pomegranates and lemons. Oh, I like me some lemons. Let's go ahead and uh, break a lemon. Just because I like lemons. I don't know why. I, I just really like lemons. Uh, and of course, we're going to need another sapling. Oh boy. Okay, another sapling. Got me some lemon. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and teleport back to my house that I've got an adequate supply of cow meat and um, and saplings. And I'm going to start cooking up a bunch of stuff, actually. Where'd the cow meat go? Over there. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep in the bed. Sleep in the bed, sleep in the bed. We're at how long? Okay, quite a long episode. So, yeah, we're going to cook up the cow meat. Then we're going to take the bone meal and see if I can get all of these saplings grown. We're going to put away some stuff. Okay, just put away some of these extra things. Got the extra salt. Um, extra dirt that I do not want, leather that could be used, um, bleh, anything else I don't want in my inventory, this gun can go, uh, yeah, so otherwise we need to get these plants growing, so I got the peppercorns, the banana, and the lemon, uh, we can get these growing out here, I think, yes, out here. Uh, so here's where lemon will go. That took two. I think all the Pam's Harvest Craft trees take two bone meal to grow. Yeah, that from what I've seen, they always seem to take two. Nope, this one's taking a lot. That is not even. That just used all of my bone meal. Okay, freaking lemon banana sapling. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna put the peppercorn one right up here, and we're just gonna have to let these grow normally. Um, so yeah, let's do a quick round. We're going to uh, break and uh, break. Um, and then we're just gonna, I think we should end off the episode just doing a quick gardening. Um, and then we're gonna go in and check on the progress of our um, steak in the oven. Let's go ahead and form a quick gardening of all these grown plants. Uh, any more these tomatoes? Could probably make. Oh, my computer just ring ding. Um, what are you ring ding in for, computer? No ring ding. Let's go. Let's go. In 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 go. Go inside. Let's put this stuff away and then. Yeah, all my meat's cooked. Okay. Uh, so now I have a bunch more meat um, to survive on. And why did I take that stuff out? Um, so, yes. So I think then that this is a good place to end off the episode. So, yeah, guys. Um, like and subscribe if you want to see more Minecraft videos. And I guess I will see everyone in the next video. A goodbye, everyone.